Bev again and today I want to talk about workout plateaus but first I was going to say you know I looked at my husband and I today my husband is sporting a ponytail I've got these long crazy braids and I was thinking you know we're kind of beginning to look like aging hippies and then I thought oh wait a minute we are aging hippies anyway here goes a workout plateau frustrating right what is a workout plateau? Well, it's your body giving you a message. Your body is very smart, very resilient. And no matter what you do in training, if you don't change it, it's going to adapt. It's going to learn to, to manage whatever stress you put on it. And it's going to become more biochemically efficient while it's doing it. Your body always seeks um, a path of least resistance. Okay, so it's going to do it in five to eight weeks. <laughs> That's pretty fast. So you're going to have a lack of further uh, progress and it's frustrating. But let me tell you that it isn't just you. The more seasoned you are in weightlifting, the more plateaus you're going to experience. Okay, so it happens to all of us and it happens more frequently the longer you work out over the years. Now, how do you break out? Well, obviously you have to change the intensity of your workout. You have to force your body to realize you're doing something different. It can't say, oh, I know what you're doing. I can, I, no, wait a minute, what's happening, right? It's gonna to have to adapt. So how do you do that? Well, some of the obvious things you probably know about. Um, you know, you can increase the reps, increase the sets. Uh, have progressive weight overload. Um, you can use different exercise variations. Uh, you can have shorter rest times between sets. Um, uh, you can increase your total workload over day. You can do more exercises over a smaller time period. You can do more weekly sessions. There's lots of approaches, right? But also, I would caution you not to overtrain. And when you overtrain, your body simply can't adapt. It isn't that it's learning what you're doing. It can't learn because you're overtraining it. I kind of call it a um, fitness hangover. Uh, it's a whole other, um, I guess I could do a video on overtraining. Um, and um, you, you know that if, it, if, it's, if your body is adapting every five to eight weeks, then you have to change how you're training your body every five to eight weeks and you have to track everything you're doing because you want to make sure that you're progressing something in some way. So I always carry a recording notebook to the gym. And besides, if you have a notebook, you look like the big boys, right? Because they're always recording stuff. Um, so if I was to give you an example of how I might do some of this, okay, let me take this off. Okay, I'll just give a simple one to begin with. Um, so you've got some sort of exercise that you write down. You've got a weight, you have sets and reps, and then you have a total workload, okay? So whatever the exercise is, let's say that normally I use 20 pounds in the exercise. If I want to increase um, or progress something in that, um, let's say normally, normally I do three sets of 10 reps. So that's going to be a 600 workload, 30 times 20. But let's say for that exercise, I decide the next time I'm in the gym, I'll use the same weight, but maybe my reps will be different. Maybe I'll do 12, 10, 10, or 12, 12, 10, whatever. But if I do this, I'm going to increase this by 40 pounds. I'm going to have a total workload that's 640. So I will have progressed it a little more. I will have um, given a little bit more stress to those muscles for my body to learn to manage. Uh, and maybe uh, later on, maybe I will increase the weight and do 10, 8, 8. It may be um, less reps than I do with the lower weight, but maybe in this case, 
I will have increased the workload again. So that's one example. You can also do partial ranges of motion. Um, you can also, um, another example is uh, to stop partway through the movement. So for example, if I'm doing bicep curls, um, I could stop a third of the way up, two thirds of the way up, finish the movement, stop, stop, and down. Because in, in your muscles, the uh, tissues, the fibers, do not run the whole length of the muscle that you're working on. There's a whole bunch of them. So when you stop at different angles, you're stressing and strengthening at different angles. So that's important. Uh, and it is a way of, of changing um, what your uh, the stress on your body for that particular exercise. Uh, another one, you know, when I when I talk about different uh, training programs, and you can Google them, there's like a bazillion of them, right? But one of them, let's take pyramid training. And it kind of looks like a pyramid. So let's say you do um, five reps, and this is one, two, three, four, five sets, okay? So the, maybe for this exercise, uh, the normal weight that you use is 30, okay? So you're going to start the exercise at 25, and you're going to do five reps at 25. Immediately, with very little rest, you're going to do five reps at your normal 30, and then you're going to come up to 35 and do five reps. This is going to be really hard. And then you're going to come down. Okay? Five reps at 25, five at your normal 30, five at 35, and then come back down. Now, as you come up, this, this is going to be really hard. But you're going to kind of feel better coming down here. Okay? Pyramid training, it's a really good uh, program. Um, you know, if I was to use a silly example, you know the guys that deliver the mail, you know, and they're walking all day and you think, oh, wow, that'd be a great way to get fit. Well, if they're overweight when they start, yes, they will lose some weight and they'll lose some fat. But if they do nothing else, they're going to gain some back right? They may not go right up to where they were, but they're going to gain some back because they haven't changed anything else. They're doing the same route day after day and their body's like, okay, after a few weeks, I know what I'm doing. I don't have to work so hard, right? Brain muscle connection is set. That's all it knows. It's not going to adapt any further. So you know what it is. You know how to deal with it. Also get enough sleep Drink pure water all day. Take a sufficient caloric intake so you can grow your muscles and eat protein at every meal. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.